What's up, Brian Tong here, and the latest iPhone 14 Pro news. This is a big deal. We're not messing around. According to multiple sources, including 9to5Mac and Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, the cutout at the top of the iPhone 14 Pro won't be a notch, and it won't be two holes, but instead, it will look like one wide pill hole. That's right, so that punch hole, pill hole combo that we've been seeing in renders for what over the past year or more is expected to be no more. And for some of you, that might be a bitter pill to swallow. Okay, please keep watching this video, don't stop. But Apple's expected to combine the pill and the hole cutouts into one single cutout so there's a cleaner visual experience or just, let's just call it one wide pill. Or let's be honest, Apple, y'all are just gonna scoot the notch down a little now, uh-huh. Now the large pill-shaped combo cutout hole will display privacy indicators for the microphone and the camera according to 9to5Mac sources. It will still house the true depth camera system that we know for Face ID, but the two holes will now be combined together and using software to appear as a long-shaped cutout when the iPhone is in use. The report also says the space between the cutouts will be used to show off green and orange dots that will indicate whether the mic or camera is being actively used by an app. Now on a Mac, if you've used it, there's a green light next to the camera that appears when an app is using the camera. It's the same kind of execution here, but with the iPhone 14 Pro instead. You will also reportedly be able to tap on the green and orange dots to see what apps are using them. And when the cameras are not in use while the screen is on, the space between the two cutouts will still be blacked out so it looks like a single wide pill. Now, 9 to 5 mac also reports that Apple will redesign the camera app, moving most of the controls that you're used to to the top of the display to give users a larger view of the camera preview, but they say that the change is not entirely locked in yet. But if my hand is already like right at the bottom of the iPhone, I don't want any controls at the top. Now, if we go back to the Apple invite, now I know what they meant by using the catchphrase far out, as in we stretch the camera hole far out. Okay, yeah, it makes sense now. But senior VP of marketing, Greg Joswiak, he just tweeted out, not too far out now, in response to a tweet about the Apple event coming soon. And you know that Apple has been laughing at us over the, what, the past year or two, talking pinhole and pill hole or whatever hole was out there. I mean, they've been able to keep it under wraps until basically less than a week before the announcement. Now, we already know Apple is expected to announce four new iPhone 14 models at their event on September 7th. But up to this point, the general assumption has been that the larger iPhone 14 with a 6.7 inch display would be called an iPhone 14 Max, but not so fast. A photo shared from Twitter user Tommy Boy shows packaging of an alleged iPhone case from Apple where the 6.7 inch iPhone might be called the iPhone 14 Plus. So that would mean the lineup would look like this with a 6.1 inch iPhone 14, a 6.7 inch iPhone 14 Plus, then a 6.1 inch iPhone 14 Pro, and a 6.7 inch iPhone 14 Pro Max. And the last time Apple used the Plus branding was with the iPhone 8, which had a Plus in the name for the larger screen size. So maybe Max stays with the Pro line and Plus stays with the regular line. Or they could just call it the iPhone 14 Pro Max Plus Extreme Ultra, whatever they want to call it. Well, hey, look now, 9 to 5 Max sources have told them that it will be indeed called the iPhone 14 Plus. And in case you were wondering, the Chinese iPhone 14 Pro clones are already out in the wild with the pill hole, punch hole design because of course they are. Now, if you're curious about what colors the new iPhone 14 and 14 Pro lineup will come in, as of now, we've heard a lot of things, but the iPhone 14 lineup is expected to come in product red, starlight, midnight, some shade of blue, and possibly green, plus the all new purple. And you know that I love that. I mean, there's a whole lot of potential options out there, but the new iPhone 14 Pro lineup, that's expected to be a little slimmer, expected to come in space gray, gold, silver, and still up in the air if it's gonna keep a blue option, but alpine green still in play, and an all new purple that could just look real classy on a pro. But we won't know until we get the official word from Apple. And again, the Apple event will be held on September the 7th at 10 a.m. Pacific time at Apple Campus, and I'll be there at Apple Park for the event, so you can come right back to my channel right here to check out my reactions to all the official announcements. Now this thing, this is kind of cool. This just popped up on my radar and I'm not saying you go out and run out and buy the AirPods Max, but with the recent price drops, you start seeing them in the wild more and more and you're kind of wondering, hmm, maybe it might be time. Well, Amazon is now selling them at a record low 
for $429 at the time of this video. They originally retail for $549, so that's 22% off. All color options are available at this price except for Space Gray. And if you are deep in the Apple ecosystem, you know, right now they're worth it to me at $429, even if they are pretty heavy. And if you think about it, they might even get lower in price, hitting that $399 price point by the time we hit the holidays. Okay, now if you don't want something that costs around $400 or more, but will make your M2 MacBook Air feel even cooler than it is already, uh, check out these awesome wallpapers on basicappleguy.com that showcase the schematics inside the M2 MacBook Air and make it a killer wallpaper. Now there are different colorways he made and I love people like him who add to the community like this. You know, it's a passion project, so throw him a tip if you feel like it, but I love these wallpapers even if I don't own an M2 MacBook Air and I know that you M2 MacBook Air owners, you're gonna love them too. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Yeah, big things pop in one long pill. I mean, things are happening fast, so you can be sure that there will be more videos on my channel before the Apple event. Come on, there's always more. And if you like what you see, give me that thumbs up, subs up, and hit that notification bell, ding, to get all my latest videos when they drop. And if you want more of that Apple goodness, you can check out my weekly Apple Bits XL podcast to get the latest deep dive with all these stories and new ones every week with special guests and I don't want to jinx it, but there might be special, something special for the podcast uh, coming from Apple Campus. That was my Apple Watch that just told me I closed my rings. Thanks. All right. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace and love.